this is something, an aspect of life that is not kept up with other aspects of life. You go to a demographically average Indian household, you would see that the household has a few modern appliances. They would most likely have a television, they have mobile phones. And yet, uh, when you compare the kitchen from the rest of the house, it's like the kitchen is 50 years behind the rest of the house. We make stoves that people that are efficient, that uh, reduce the negative health and climate impacts, and also are products that people find aspirational and are happy to buy. Do you want to get into a little more of the nitty gritty on how it, on how the, just the current cook stove works? Sure. So once you put wood in and it starts burning, there's a primary draft of air that goes in, and uh, as as there is a temperature and a density or pressure differential in, in the air outside and the air inside. Uh, as the wood burns and releases volatiles, uh, the oxygen gets pulled in from the bottom and uh, gets heated in by a reducer and gets inside the combustion chamber from these holes. So it gives you much higher combustion efficiency compared to a mud stove. And because you have multiple layers of uh, metal uh, between the combustion chamber and the outer body, uh, you have very little radiation loss. So compared to a mud stove that has about 6 to 8% of efficiency net, this would give you between uh, 28 and 32. Uh, the wood consumption definitely reduces to half. So typically when we do demonstrations, we try to do it with a mud stove side by side so that people see what the difference is. And then uh, there's a huge reduction in carbon monoxide because there's better combustion. There's uh, almost 75 to 80 percent reduction in the black carbon. Uh, it saves 1.2 tons carbon emission per annum. So each unit saves 1.2 tons of carbon emission. 1.2 tons, tons of, of carbon. carbon. Based on five hours cooking cycle in the in typical Indian house. So when you get to a half million. We are talking about uh, 600,000 uh, tons of carbon emission reduction. How much How much time does it save her? Commit, commit, I have to pay for the payment of 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 the She's saying that uh, this is at least saves per meal around 20 to 25 minutes. She's saving around an hour, hour, hour and a half per day. Hour, hour and a half? Per day. Okay. Can you ask her what, what does she do with that hour and a half that she saves every day? They can watch more TV. <laughs> they may not have formal employment, but with household work, with a lot of other things, they're actually very, very busy. And if you can save them 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes a meal, it's it's a big value add for them. You use it. You may not even use it for anything productive, but if you just even get 20 minutes worth of rest, it's it's a big. Uh, Value add. This episode brought to you by the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID, applying science, technology, innovation, and partnership to ending extreme poverty.